In this lesson, I am going to implement an example of batch epics. So in previous lesson, you understood what batch epics is, what is the syntax. So let's implement an example. So I'm going to create one epics class, naming it as opportunity processor. So what I'm going to do, I will be querying all the opportunities and uh, in the lead source, I will be setting web, right? So here I'm going to implement database.batchable interface. So this is the syntax for that. And uh, here I'm creating one variable of type integer. So initially value of this variable is zero. Now I need to define start method. So public, then I am using database dot query locator start database dot batchable context BC. So this is our first method that is implemented in this batch apex. So uh, here uh, I'm using uh, database dot query editor as return type and start with the method name and this is the parameter. And here I'm going to use return keyword. Then database dot get query locator. And here I'm going to write SOQL. So select ID name from opportunity. So the data uh, from opportunity object will be queried. And uh, through this return statement, they will be returned automatically to execute method. Now, after this, so maybe what you can do, you can store this queried information in a list and then you can pass that, uh, you can return that list as well. Now, public void execute. database dot batchable context BC and then list of opportunity and OPPS. So this way we are defining second method that is execute and here two uh, parameters are received. So the data or record collection that we are going to return from the start method that will be uh, received automatically in this execute method in this list of opportunity. Now here I can apply an iteration. So opportunity OP colon opportunities. And here I'm going to write OP dot lead source equals to VAP. Right, so what will happen like whenever you will be executing this batch. So all the records will be queried and uh, their lead source will be converted into VAP. So basically it depends on this SOQL, like what type of records you want to query. If you want to apply any where clause or if you want to filter the number of records, so you can do that as well. Now, after this iteration, I'm going to uh, write a DML update OPPS. And uh, after that, I'm going to write record count equals to dot count plus OPPS dot size. So this way our second method is implemented. So uh, this is start method, then this is execute method. Now I'm going to define one more method that is finish. So public void finish So here also I am uh, passing this parameter batchable context BC and method name is finish.
Now here you can see uh, I implemented this finish method and it is uh, showing system.debug and total records processed and this record count, right? Now here, one more thing I need to write, uh, database dot stateful. So actually I am uh, using this variable and I want to maintain its state. So that's why I used uh, this interface. So after execution, like this record count will be a total uh, number of records that is processed through this batch Apex. So initially it is starting with zero, but with every batch uh, record count uh, will be updated. And uh, uh, with every batch, it won't be uh, like, uh, it won't start with zero. So after completion, we are displaying it here. So now after implementation, I am going to save this. It is successfully saved. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open anonymous window and uh, I'm going to execute this batch Apex. So here I'm writing OPP processor space OPP process equals to new OPP processor. So I created instance. Now ID batch ID equals to database dot execute batch and here we need to pass this instance right so uh, the syntax i already explained in the previous lesson so basically uh, through this uh, database class execute method this instance will be executed and uh, the id of that uh, batch will be available in this variable so now i'm going to execute this statement so i'm clicking on execute highlighted Okay, so I uh, mistakenly clicked on execute highlighted. So I am clicking on execute. So it is executed now here, uh, like uh, I need to refresh this page, Apex Jobs, where I can track. So here you can see uh, batch Apex is the job type. It is completed, number of batches one, failures are zero. And the class uh, which was responsible for this batch Apex is mentioned here as well. So all this information is available and this is your Apex job ID, right? Now, if I move to opportunity, so you will see uh, under each opportunity, like uh, each record, under opportunity, each record will be having lead source as web. So I'm clicking on opportunity and uh, moving to all opportunities. So here you can see total number of uh, records are 56. That's why all records processed in the single batch because default limit is 200. Now uh, I'm going to add some fields in this list view. So I'm going to add lead source and I'm going to add modified by, so last modified date and clicking on save. So here uh, you will see, okay, so let me remove some fields as well so that we can view the information properly. Yep, so here you can see all the opportunity lead sources web. And uh, last modified date is also same. It is 22nd January and time is also same. So this way, um, I hope you understood how uh, this is basically working. Right now, jumping into developer console again. So here you can see various logs are generated. So if I open the logs, so I just need to check the uh, debug because we used system.debug in uh, finish method. So you can open them one by one and just click on this. So here you can see in the second log, it is available. Total records processed 56 and we have total number of records as 56. So this way, uh, our record count variable is working fine. So remember, you need to use this database.stateful so that uh, this record count will maintain its state.
Now I'm going to show you one more thing like how to uh, create multiple batches. So we have 56 records in opportunity. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it in uh, 10, 10 batches. So total six batches will be processed. So I am again clicking on execute and here you will see when I refresh it. So you can see total number of batches will be six and batch is completed and uh, total number of batches are processed six failures are zero and earlier time was 10 28 and now time is 10 31 so if i refresh the space so you will see the difference so again uh, it is executed for all the records so this way if you want to break your batches in less number of records so that is possible and here we can see here we have these logs so you can open them one by one and click on debug only so here total count is intact 56 so this way like if you if you want to uh, reduce number of records in the batch process so you can do now after implementation of uh, this batch apex i'm going to tell you how we can implement its test class because it is important to implement its test class so that you can make sure uh, this batch apex is covered properly uh, so that you can deploy it into production. So I'm going to create new Apex class and naming it as opportunity processor test. Now, whenever we create any test class, so we need to use at the rate is test annotation before class and before method. So I'm doing that. Now, private static void test batch class. Now, I need to create some opportunity records. So, I'm creating opportunity list. So I'm going to create 200 records for opportunity. So this way, basically, I created uh, instances of opportunity and I automatically added them through add method in the opportunity list. And after completion of this loop, I can write insert DML. So I'm writing insert OPP list. Now test dot start test. Opportunity processor OPP process equals to new opportunity processor. So I created instance of the class batch apex that we created and ID equals to batch ID equals to database dot execute batch. And here I need to pass this. And uh, I'm suggesting uh, I'm passing 200 as batch size test dot stop test now after this we need to validate it using assertion so what we need to do we need to query opportunity records so i'm querying updated opportunities and uh, so I need to write select ID from opportunity here 
lead source equals app. And I am writing system dot assert equal and here i need to compare size of this updated opportunity so i'm expecting 200 so copying this list passing it here dot size so if updated opportunity list size is equals to 200 it means our batch executed successfully so i'm saving this test class and uh, once you save your test class, so you start seeing this run test button. So I'm clicking on this button. So now I need to move to this test tab. So here you can see it is executed properly, no failure. And now I'm moving here and trying to check the code coverage and the 100% code is covered. So this way you can implement your uh, test class so that you can make sure your batch apex is covered or not. Thank you.